We're super excited to, to be here to speak with Seb and Ben. Um, just to say, Kieran and I are here uh, doing a little Q&A with Seb here. So um, Seb is the CEO of a company called Ben, in which we are seed investors in, along with our friends at Cherry. Seb, over to you um, to give your elevator pitch of, of Ben. So yeah, what is Ben? Ben is an end-to-end -end platform for benefits and rewards. So the truth is most benefit programs actually have very low engagement. And the, the reason for that is not just, you know, UX and things like that. It's literally things that are on offer are just not relevant for people. And it's hard to do. If you are a small or mid-sized company, it's actually not easy to offer something that's right for everyone. If you think about a diverse workforce, something that's relevant for somebody in their 40s might be totally useless for somebody in their 20s and vice versa. And the explosion in remote working actually makes that even more so in the sense that all of a sudden somebody is working from a co-working space from the office or from home. They just need different things. And so Ben takes a novel approach to this by using payment cards and, fin and financial infrastructure. So we kind of turn the model on its head. We say companies should put their budget into Ben and say how it should be spent. This should be used for health and well-being. This is L&D, this is mobility, and then employees get to make choices. They log on, they say, I want this, I want this health insurance, I want this gym subscription and so on. And we do this by on the one hand incorporating core benefits. And at the same time, we have, I need to cover the digits here, the Ben payment card, which wow. I believe you are, you are about to receive in the post. Uh, it's a real MasterCard, it can be used anywhere, uh, but we're able to restrict where it can be used. And that's how we can enable any company to have amazingly impactful and cost-effective benefit programs. Can you tell the audience maybe a little bit more about your background prior to founding Ben? Sure, so, so I'm German. Uh, originally, I started in physics. I was a scientist, uh, went to uni in the UK, even did a PhD in computational physics, wanted to be an academic, really enjoyed that actually. Didn't quite enjoy the career. So changed my mind as many academics do and uh, went into management consulting. Spent over three years with Bain uh, in the last financial crisis, which was fascinating. And then left there to start my first company in 2011. It was in Berlin. It was a last minute hotel booking app, purely for mobile. We built the company for two years. We raised from Index, from Creandum, from DN Capital, and then sold the company to Secret Escapes. I ended up moving to London to run the UK market for Secret Escapes as their MD, which was a super cool opportunity. And when I left, I took a bit of time out, uh, spent a bit of time in the Valley, figuring out what the cool kids are up to, and then wanted to find my next gig, um, which, which you were a key part of. I spent most of 2019 uh, trying to find my next gig and uh, was an EIR at, at CCAMP. You know, we wanted to bring David into this is that you're not doing it alone. Um, you, you know, you, you and David have found each other and, and decided to work with each other, but maybe talk a little bit about that co-founder, you know, finding that fit and the complementarity between the two of you and, and, in you know, solving what are a lot of problems when you are going from that zero to one journey. David, David's my co-founder. David's the perfect co-founder. And, and then like, that's been, it was clear before and it's even more clear now. Uh, he's, an, he's an old friend, which helps. So we've known each other for years. We actually met through work. We met at a meetup that I hosted at Secret Escapes while he was still working at SoundCloud. Reshma, you mentioned the complementarity, like he brings this strong enterprise and fintech payments background. Uh, and yeah, together, you know, we rock. Thinking even to the, to the sort of future here, the kind of future of benefits and, and how companies are supporting their employees. Yeah, how, how do you think that, that world sort of looks in the next kind of three, four, five years? And how do you see sort of Ben's vision there and, and, and how you fit into that, that landscape? I've said it before, we believe the future is flexible. We want to be this platform where you as an employee can make choices. Like responsibility should be on me. I know best what is good for me. Obviously within the, the guardrails of what the company wants to achieve, but like, we believe the future is giving this responsibility to employees in order to have maximum impact. And at the same time, remove the admin burden and also the burden of choosing on employees behalf from companies. So it's a win-win it's a and we're well on our way to build that. 